Hello and welcome back to the BE ILOB channel. Today, we will learn how to use three powerful geoprocessing tools in QGIS including Convex Hull, Difference, and Dissolve. These tools play a crucial role in spatial analysis and can significantly enhance your mapping capabilities. So let's get started. In this segment, our focus shifts to the Dissolve tool, a powerful feature for merging features based on a shared attribute, simplifying and streamlining your data. This proves especially handy when combining adjacent polygons with the same attribute. Now, let's jump into QGIS and explore how to use the Dissolve tool. In the first step, we loaded a shapefile named Fire, representing a burned area chosen for our analysis. Checking its attribute table reveals eight columns. The UID fire column serves as the unique ID for each fire event, and the map date column indicates the burn area date. To utilize the Dissolve tool, head back to the QGIS interface, go to the Vector menu, select Geoprocessing Tools, and click on Dissolve. In the new window, choose the fire layer as the input layer. Then, Click on the highlighted section to select the columns for the dissolve operation. Here, we tick the UID fire column and hit the run button at the bottom of the window. Now, you can witness the results of the dissolve operation. As evident, this tool successfully merged polygons with the same UID fire. Now, let's explore the convex hull tool. The convex hull is a geometric shape that encompasses a set of points, polylines, or polygons in the smallest possible area. This proves invaluable for grasping the overall extent of a dataset. Let's dive into QGIS and see how to apply the convex hull tool. To utilize the convex hull tool, head to the vector menu, choose geoprocessing tools, and select convex hull. Pick the layer you wish to analyze. In this instance, we use the output layer from a previous convex hull operation as the input layer. Finally, click on the Run button. The result is a polygon wrapping around the outermost features of the dataset. Lastly, let's delve into the Difference tool. This powerful tool allows us to subtract the geometry of one layer from another, making it handy for extracting specific features or areas. Let's see how it operates in QGIS. To utilize the Difference tool, follow a similar process as with previous tools, Navigate to the Vector menu, select Geoprocessing Tools, and click on Difference. Choose the layers you want to work with. In this case, we opt for the convex hull layer as the input layer and the fire layer as the overlay layer. To see the result, click on the Run button. As evident, the resulting map is a product of subtracting the fire layer from the convex hull output. This operation using the Difference tool effectively showcases the distinct features or areas found in the convex hull but not in the fire layer. Now, it's your opportunity to explore the geoprocessing tools we've covered. Apply these tools to point and line datasets in your projects and share your observations in the comments below. We're eager to hear about your experiences and answer any questions you might have. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of powerful geoprocessing tools in QGIS. If you found this tutorial valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more geospatial content, and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Your engagement means a lot to us. See you in the next video.